welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is excellent to be back. Uh, we are good today. Um, we're going to get into Daniel Dubois, the big one, Daniel Dubois, uh, and Anthony Joshua in Wembley in the UK. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So we had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Uh, it's also in that little ticker below. Just buy all this. I want to get you the lock of the week. Get you asked to bookie anything. It gets you a request a video. It gets you the updated props. Uh, when the props haven't dropped yet, come over to the, the Patreon. And, and once they do, uh, we will show you exactly how to make money on the props as well. There's a lot of money we made on the props. So we've hit the... Seven weeks in a row, we've hit the lock of the week, guys. Uh, we've hit nine in a row total, twice, including last week. I gave you two locks. Those both hit two, so we've hit the lock of the week. The lock of the week is typically a three- or four-leg parlay. That's seven weeks in a row. Uh, you guys can, can check it out. But link is in the description for that. Uh, jo join the Patreon. Five dollars a month makes you rich. All right, let's get into five dollars a month. Guys. Get you rich. Uh, let's get and also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds and, and research, uh, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. But I am struggling with my brain today. All right, let's get into today's show. Anthony Joshua coming off the most incredible win any fighter has ever had. He beat a UFC guy who had one professional fight and he knocked him out. He didn't just beat the UFC guy, he knocked him out in two rounds. He knocked him down in the first and finished him in the second. I mean, that is incredible. How how he could do that was amazing. Uh, it's coming off knockout victories over Hellenius and, and Otto Valin, uh after a very, very, very mediocre performance against Jermaine Franklin in, uh, in in April of 2023, which was after the, the, the Usyk fight. So he, he's uh, one, two, three, four, and all th uh, three knockouts, and he beat the UFC guy, which – for some reason, impressed everyone. I, I think we can see exactly for sure that Fury, who didn't throw any punches and got dropped by Ngannou, uh, clearly was paid to do that. Uh, Ngannou was a guy who had never won a professional fight. He still has not won a professional fight. And Anthony Joshua knocked him out in two rounds. And for some reason, everyone thinks that means something more special because Ngannou was clearly carried by Tyson Fury. That was, in, in retrospect, that was freaking ridiculous. Oh, the thing was a farce. All right. Um, but let's get into today's show. AJ, he sits back. He's patient. Nice jab. Beautiful straight right hand. Really good uppercut on the inside. We're really super familiar with Anthony Joshua. I don't feel like I need to really get into details, you know, too much on this. We, we've seen Anthony Joshua since like 2013 or whatever it's been. Good power. Can change a fight with a right hand or the uppercut. He's slow and mechanical, right? Like he's not really fluid. He's kind of bulky. He telegraphs that right hand a bit. He's, he's You can go over it with a hook. He's not difficult to hit. He's there. Good good skills. Good, decent, you know, good, good, decent boxing skill. Low volume. Selective, but really pretty accurate with his shots. Uh, throws nice straight shots. And he's strong as hell. I mean, he, he's, a, he's a physical animal. 6'6", 240 to 250. Lean as can be. Strong. Not super fast, struggles with speed. Uh, do, I don't think that's going to be a major issue in this fight. But we know what Joshua is. He, he's a good heavyweight with good power, with pretty good skills. Um, but he's, he's a little bit slow and mechanical. Now, Daniel Dubois. Daniel Dubois is a guy that uh, was my prospect of the year, I guess, in 2019, I guess it was. Well, ways back. He's, he's 27 now, so he's at his peak now. This is, this is what he is. Um, you know, he's come a long way since he was a 22-year-old kid. I beat Nathan Gorman, different thing like that. But he's come a long way. Great power. You know, good bounce to his step. He's a good athlete. He's a guy to me that just – his, his parts are greater than his sum. He's just really never put it all together. I, I thought he was going to be a world beater on his way up. Nice double jab, but he needs to use it more. He's got a real nice double jab. He just doesn't use it enough. Uh He, he can – Move a little bit. You know, he's got a little, nice little bounce to his step. Good athlete for the most part. Good athlete for a big man. He, he moves well. 
you know, he just doesn't move enough. Like he just doesn't execute these things. He just, you know, he's a good athlete who doesn't move. He's got a good jab. He doesn't use it. He, he throws nice straight shots, but he instead he decides to get wild and wide, and he doesn't set things up. Uh, he's got game changing power. That that's for sure. That's my dog. It it he just can't put it all together. He gets a little wide. He needs to keep his. I'm I'm gonna. That's, he doesn't throw much. He's easy to hit. He, despite all of that, he he might should have been the unified heavyweight champion of the world because he may have knocked out Usyk. That was a very borderline punch that could have been ruled either way. If if it's ruled legal, he's he, despite all of the flaws and all of the weaknesses, he's the uh, he would have been the unified heavyweight champion of the world. He probably would have lost to Fury, uh, but. It, it is what it is. Like he was right there. He didn't. He didn't get the benefit of the doubt on the knockout. But he he hit Usyk with the shot that would have made him the heavyweight champ. And they just ruled it low. And it wasn't wrong to rule it low. It was. It was like I said. It was one of those things that you could have ruled either way. If you, you know, like in football, if you review it, you uphold the call no matter what the call is because you can't overturn it because it's just not evidence to overturn it. But he he was there. And he delivered. So he's got the power. He's got the athleticism. He just hasn't been able to put it all together. And I don't think. Uh, I don't think Saturday in Wembley is the day he puts it all together either. I just don't see that happening either. Ooh. Uh, I just don't see that happening either. Um, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. It's my dog. Um, so let's get – let's take a look at the odds. I, I think it's good money. I think picking AJ is safe here. I think it's a lot. I want to take a look at the money, take a look at the odds here. Uh, Anthony Joshua minus 425, which I thought was a little wide. I thought they were going to have to walk a little closer. It's not. I, I was going to guess about 350. It's minus 425, which is okay. I don't know about on that. Makes it 2352. And then does the fight go the distance? I, I, someone's getting knocked out in this fight, so I definitely like the fight not to go the distance. So that's 2105. That's $45. You make a $200 bet. It's not bad. Either one of these are, are great bets to build around. You build your parlay around. Uh, they are uh, terrific. I would probably build it with Joshua, but if you want to take the money line, uh, if, Joshua on the money line, but if you want to take the, the prop for not to go the distance, both are paying similar odds, and I, I think both are pretty much locks. I would cash in on both of these. If you can parlay these, I think this is an excellent parlay for this fight. As my dog is going crazy because there's a garbage truck outside. Ignore her. Uh, but I would – sorry, guys. I would – cannoli. I would um, – this is unprofessional. This is unprofessional. Uh, <laughs> I would take both of these. $200 bet, both ones. A $200 bet in this case would make you uh, $45. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please follow me all on social media. Uh, subscribe to the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just five dollars a month gets you the absolute best gambling advice. It is September 16th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.